It's actually very scary. Cause I thought I really liked that guy, but he's actually terrifying. I just got my tattoos done. This one was so fine. This one, again, I got it like touched up. I felt like a bitch. I feel like a baddie. Like, I feel like I, I don't know, I just feel really cool. But I need to put on a t-shirt right now. They're gonna be covered up because obviously they're fresh and I don't want the sun. It's like UV 8 today or something ridiculous. So I had to talk her into covering them up. I want to tan, like fucking, I don't know, fucking shoot me. See, it's so red because it killed, but this is... Yeah. Hey. I'm all pretty. We're gonna go get some food now. I'm walking back through Laurier. Laurier? Laurier? It's so cute, it's so residential, but still like cafe. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. gone and done some damage at Value Village, right? There's a bunch of like fast food places around here because it's like the highway. And we came across this thing. It's a big orange orb. They do really good apparently pressed orange juice and vegetarian sausages and stuff. So that's the big idea. For this evening is that we're going to go to this club i'm telling you right now i'm gonna have to be a different girl i cannot see the person i am right now currently going to the club but i say we make it happen i just need to refresh get be ready i don't know man <laughs> i'm actually shattered shattered to sat next to this massive orange thing sick it is crazy to be in its presence the food was really good but the orange juice was a bit weird because they put milk in it or something it just a bit interesting of a choice i'll catch up with you later when i'm hopefully feeling a bit more alive just shout at me if i'm gonna get hit okay we're going to the club i'm quite drunk we're not gonna talk about it i'm wearing the same top that i wear genuinely every single time i go out but it's also like i was gonna wear something else but i've got two tattoos like healing so i wanted to cover them up i'm gonna finish my drink and then we're gonna be on our way okay goodbye <laughs> I personally woke up about 45 minutes ago. I'm excited, got avocado toast coming today. So I'm as gassed as I can be, I'm literally dying, I'm so tired. Coffee. We're sat under an umbrella because I want to be outside, but it's just a bit gross weather. I've done my Aritzia shopping. So I realized, okay, I said that there was an Aritzia in London. I was mistaken. There's one in London, Ontario. 
Exactly. Which is not the London in which I live. We also sat like right outside of a cafe. We could go inside, but it's not calling us. You know, it's not calling us. Maybe we'll move soon. We'll get some stuff for dinner. <laughs> Hi. As expected, yesterday we didn't do very much else other than sit outside in the rain and make pasta. It was lovely. Like, don't get me wrong, good, wholesome time. But today is my penultimate day in Canada, so we're gonna do a little bit more. It's 9.45 and we are heading out to this really cute cafe. We're gonna be there for a little bit. We'll catch up on some editing. And then, I think we're gonna be heading over to Old Town this evening. We've been back for a few hours from the cafe. It was gorgeous in there. If I lived here, I'd be in there all the time. Now, we're gonna go out and get some food in the Vieux Montreal. My accent improving, guys, so you gotta be straight with me. We're going to this place called Burger Fiance, and they do pretty much all vegan stuff, which is so good, because I've been craving vegan cheese. I don't eat milk, not because I'm like vegan or vegetarian or like whatever, it's because I'm allergic to it. I love vegan cheese. Vegan baby bells are my sh if I could get something with vegan cheese on it that I've been craving very much since being here, I'll be a happy girl. It's a little bit early for dinner, so we're gonna enjoy the walk there. This is my last evening in Montreal, so I wanna be able to you know, see it in its glory, the sunset and all that on the buildings, and I'm sure in the old town it will be so, so nice. This is my final morning in Montreal. I've had such an amazing time. I'm really sad to say goodbye. I really want to come back. I've done my makeup. We're about to have a quick breakfast before we head out on the big sea bikes up to the plateau. I've packed up most of my clothes, but I'm gonna do the other bits and pieces that I need doing between lunch and dinner. Oh, what a great and satisfying sound. That was so painful. It was like a 10 minute cycle and we had to stop for me. But we're at the cafe. I'm gonna get some caffeine in me. Cheers. That's very smooth. Your butter? Delicious. It's like the best croissant I've ever had. They're kind of scary. Yeah, it's fun. I like, they've got like art deco, yeah. This 
Is it good? Oh yeah. It smells really good. I've got it all over my hands. Oh yeah. Why is the straw so big? Mmm. That is okay. straight sugar. It's good though. It's nice flavoured sugar. Yeah, exactly. It's cherry flavoured sugar. It's time to say goodbye to Montreal. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing Montreal in the last few days that I was here. See you in the next video. Bye. Whoa.